Hey, Rory here, Director of Solar Education at Sunset Solar. I um, want to talk to you about one of the most common questions we get uh, about our systems. Why do we choose the vSUN panels and Duracell microinverter system? Uh, so I just wanted to show you an example here of the production and cost differences between, between that combination um, and then one of the, the other ones that we hear most commonly, which would be an REC panels and in-phase microinverters. So REC panels, probably the best marketed uh, panel in the US. In-phase, definitely the best microinverter system uh, marketed in the, the US. Um, doesn't mean that they're actually, either one of these two are the best product or best value for you as a consumer. So um, these are products we can get um, and we quote them at times, uh, but we just wanted to, to show you why we we do probably 97% of our systems with the B-Sun Duracell uh, scenario. So let's take a look. We've got the exact same size system here, 16.81. So it's 41, 410 uh, panels of the B-Sun. Same thing, 410 watt panels, 41 of them of the, the REC. See so most all those panels in either system pointing south with a few pointing to the west. Now I will tell you on this panel, uh, both of them, the REC and the VSUN are a complete black panel with a black frame. Um, in our software, we have them add the little lines in between so it's easier to count that it's not a separate frame. They look the same pretty much as the REC panels here. So, so let's take a look at production. So with this size system, the REC panel in phase inverter system shows it's going to produce 23,238 kilowatt hours first year. Same size vSUN system, 25,301. So we've got just over a 2,000 kilowatt hour difference in production out of the gate. Okay, so one of the reasons most people, uh, what they see about REC that they really like is their, their warranty, right? Their 25 year uh, production guarantee. How well are these panels gonna work? It is the best in the market. REC says that at the end of 25 years, their panels will still be producing at 80, or excuse me, 92%, where VSUN fits in with most other panels that you see out there being in the neighborhood of uh, 83%. So what we've got to look at then though is if the VSUN starts out with 2000 uh, kilowatt hours better on day one, at what point does it actually cross over with the REC panels? Uh, to making less power, right, because of that degradation. So, we said that the REC panels on day one are making 23,238 kilowatt hours. Okay, that's what they're gonna do in year one. We go down here, we've got this table that shows us how the degradation is gonna affect them. So now we're looking at the VSUN panels. And so, if it is 23,000, oops, let me go back to that real quick, make sure I got my numbers right. I'm gonna say 23,238. Okay, so we're gonna go down here with the VSUN and look at it. At what year does the VSUN cross over 23,238? So on year 12, so 12 years down the line, the VSUN will now be making what the uh, REC panel did on day one. Okay, so the REC panel, of course, is gonna degrade some as well. So let's just go all the way down. Let's look at what's going on at the end of warranties. So the VSUN actually carries a 30 year production guarantee. So they carry those out another five years longer than REC, but so uh, they were comparing at the same time level, let's look at 25 years. So that would be, uh, we have five years left. So in the year 2047, our VSUN is going to be producing 20, 1,050 kilowatt hours. Oops, and then switch over to our REC and our REC panels. That same year. It's going to be making 21,844. So, year 25 is when these two cross over and the REC is officially making more power than the VSUN. So it takes you 25 years to hit that point. Um, as I mentioned, VSUN's uh, 
warranty then carries on for another five years where REC's ends. Now, I don't expect that REC panels will dro start dropping five or 10% after year 25, but um, you know they're no longer warranting them. So if they do drop, they start dropping a lot faster after that point. It's hard telling how much difference we will actually be at at the end of 30 years where VSUN guarantees there's to still be producing um, at over 80%. So, so now let's look at cost difference, right? So I know that for the first 24 years, the VSUN panels are going to make more power than the REC panels. That's the VSUN Duracell combination compared to the REC end phase combination. Okay. So what does the cost difference look like? So now this is a large system. This is a pretty big system at 16, I'm going to say 16 kilowatts, 16.81 kilowatts, excuse me, size system. Um, so 41 panels. Uh, that REC and in phase system can be uh, 61, $61,020. So uh, with this particular one, it's in Illinois. So you got SRX of 17824 federal tax credit, unit system cost 24889 Vsun, on the other hand, 526190 So 17% cheaper to the Vsun Duracell. Um, same warranties between the Duracell and Enphase inverters. Vsun, remember, has got the 30-year the production guarantee, so five years longer than the RECs, and carry the same 25-year uh, part uh, warranty. Uh, we include a 25-year labor warranty as well. So warranties just as good and better. Price point 17% less. Uh, and particularly if you're in an area like Illinois where you can also get a production incentive, so this is based off of how much the system's gonna produce over the first 15 years. Uh, you can also see where you're getting, uh, what, uh, another $1,500 more back in, in incentives. So, um, yeah, the this is why we love the VSUN Duracell combination. Uh, the power production is the highest out of anything we've seen, uh, allowing us to, to get you the most power possible on your roof um, for the best price point is much better value. Um, if you look at how long it would take after year 25 before the REC was making more power, enough more power to compensate for the price difference, uh, I'm not even sure where you would get at mathematically, but we're definitely talking about uh, 35, 40 years down the road, um, assuming that they follow the same degradation for years 25 on as they did for the warranty period. So. Uh, there's a lot of detailed information, so if I confused you somewhere along the way, don't uh, don't don't worry too much about that. Uh, this is this is pretty in depth. Um, feel free to reach out. We will we can answer any additional questions you have about it. Um, but just wanted to, to share a little deeper dive on why we we choose to uh, promote these particular panel uh, inverter setups.